Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Gaytree Persaud. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Bob Saget's family says the comedian's death last month was due to a head injury. The family released a statement saying experts believe Saget accidentally hit the back of his head on something, apparently didn't think it was a serious injury, went to sleep, and never woke up. They also say drugs and alcohol were not a factor in Saget's death. His body was found in a hotel room in Orlando on January 9th, just a few hours after he finished a comedy performance. Bob Saget was 65 years old. Even though COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are dropping, overall, pandemic problems just keep popping up. Coming into the U.S. from the Super Bowl to the grocery store aisles. You know those truck convoys disrupting travel between the U.S. and Canada? Well, according to the Department of Homeland Security, those trucks might be planning to disrupt the Super Bowl, too. The convoys also threaten to worsen supply chain issues. Already, the pandemic has led to problems with supplies and higher prices. The parents of school shooting suspect Ethan Crumbly appeared before a Michigan judge to face their own charges of involuntary manslaughter for allegedly giving their son a firearm and ignoring clear warning signs that he was a threat to others. During the preliminary hearing, police revealed chilling texts Jennifer Crumbly sent the day of the attack. She texted to her boss, Andy Smith, OMG, Andy, he's going to kill himself. He must be the shooter. Then later added, Ethan did it. The preliminary hearing is expected to last several days and will determine whether the case proceeds to trial. The Crumblies have pleaded not guilty. Georgia lawmaker John Ossoff wants to introduce legislation banning members of Congress from trading stocks while in office. Ossoff says Congress members were trading stocks during the COVID-19 pandemic based on confidential information they received during briefings and that 75% of the country Democrats, Republicans, and Independents all agree members of Congress should not be permitted to trade stocks while in office. Ossoff is encouraging his Senate colleagues to submit alternative proposals and notes this week with the goal of wrapping up the process as quickly as possible.
The Super Bowl and Valentine's Day are just one day apart this year. And starting February 14th, Panera Bread Restaurant is giving people a chance to win a diamond ring that comes in a custom bread bowl ring box. To enter, share a picture of yourself enjoying your favorite Panera Bread Cafe or Panera Bread at-home products on either Twitter or Instagram. And be sure to include your name and the hashtags Panera Date and Sweepstakes. Only 22 entries will win. And speaking of the Super Bowl, check out this amazing EarthCam time lapse video. It shows the construction of the SoFi Stadium, which is the site of Super Bowl 56. It took over 1,400 days and 4 million images to document the construction of the 3.1 million square foot stadium from start to finish from dozens of camera angles. SoFi Stadium is the first football stadium to be built in Los Angeles in nearly 100 years. It is the NFL's largest stadium and the first open-air indoor-outdoor venue. Super Bowl 56 is this Sunday, February 13th, with the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Who are you rooting for? Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon. Have a great day.